Welcome to the GibbsCam 5-Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you about thread milling. We're going to do straight threads, tapered threads, and a double entry thread here. So I'm going to bring up my first process here, which is going to be my uh, straight threads, 3 quarter inch 10 uh, straight threads. And that's just using the standard process in the process list here, thread milling. Of course, this is my cutter here half-inch diameter, my shank, uh, eighth-inch on the thickness, and, of course, 60 degrees on the angle, standard thread angle. My threading process, first I want to make sure I'm on ID and clockwise. I'm going to wrap it to point 1. I'm going to start. Uh, my material is at Z0, and my total depth, I just want to go down 1 inch, negative 1 inch. The cut diameter is going to be 3 quarter inch because it's 3 quarter inch major diameter. 0.600 on the clearance diameter, make sure this clearance diameter is smaller than the hole you drilled in there so you don't rip the threads out when you come back up. 10 threads per inch, or you can put in the pitch in millimeters, it'll figure out the threads per inch because we're cutting in inch mode. Make sure you turn on cutter radius comp so you can compensate for uh, the pitch as you need to, the pitch diameter with your go-no gauges. Click on the point, undo it and you have your three-quarter inch thread there. The next one we want to do is tapered thread. Again, I'm going to click on the point here, go up to my plug-in menu, down to geometry, and down to create tapered threads. Now, a couple of things you need to do before you click OK. First, you need to decide whether it's a right or left-hand thread, ID or OD. So check off these first, and you want to Gibbs to create arcs or splines. I kind of prefer arcs. Some people like splines, but arcs will give you uh, less code. Click on the NPT table, and here's your standard NPT threads. I'm going to do a three-quarter inch thread there, tapered national pipe thread. Click OK. Fills in the blanks here. Click OK. And notice you have the geometry, tapered geometry, to cut the tapered thread. And this time, all we need to cut the threads is a uh, contour, just a standard contour process here. I'm going to wrap it to point 1, wrap it out at point 1. My material is 0. And I'm going to start at a negative point zero six two five. And the reason I'm doing that is I want the tool path to be calculated on this point of the cutter, not at the bottom, but the point. So if this is an 8th inch, I just need to tell it that the geometry is an 8th uh, half of that, 0.0625. Make sure you put your entry and exit in there and turn on cutter radius comp so you can adjust for it with your go-no gauges. Click on the beginning and it'll automatically snap to the end. We're cutting on the ID of course. Click do it. And again, let's cut part render. There's the three-quarter. There's our tapered thread. The next thing I want to show you is how to do a double entry thread straight pitch. Now when you're doing a uh, standard straight thread, Gibbs is always going to start at the 12 o'clock position. You can't really time that. But of course you can time a, a pipe thread. But what we want to do is cut straight threads and we want the ability to time it. So again I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to go up to the plug-in menu and again to Geometry create tapered thread, even though we're not creating a tapered thread. On the taper, I'm going to put zero, and we're an eighth of an inch pitch, so I'm going to click on the input one divided by 0.125. That gives me a threads per inch, eight threads per inch. The cut diameter, I want to cut inch and a half is going to be the major diameter there. The length, I'm just going to put zero there. Engagement length, I'm just going to put three quarter inch deep there and just point one on ID wrench makeup. Again, right hand ID arcs, click OK, and you can see I do have my straight thread now. Now, here I can time this if I need to. I can rotate this uh, wherever I need to to uh, start and end where I want to, but I want to create a double entry. So I'm going to click on this, go to modify and duplicate and 2D rotate. Around this point here, I can just hold the 
Alt Shift key, click on this point, it'll fill in the blanks for me. I want to rotate this 180 degrees one time. Click on do it. You can see I now have a double entry thread there. Bring up my uh, process again. We're going to click on this point here. Click on do it. And over on the opposite side, click on do it. Again, cut part render. Move it over to there. Rewind from the beginning. Three quarter. Three quarter MPT. And double entry threads there. Thanks for watching the Gibbs Cam demo.